is Derek Parabek. Everybody calls me DJ. I'm the owner operator at Color House of Texas in uh, Bertram, Texas. I've been around cars, working on cars since 97. Started out just body shop detailer, working my way up. I was always told just pay attention, listen, and take in as much as you can. No reason to ever think that you can stop learning. There's always something something new or some different way to do something. I've met Brian from Toronto Racing and it was through you know, just networking and I got to know him and we had always talked about eventually he wanted to get the car painted and I said you know what someday we'll figure it out one way or another. And I go I want to work with you. He wants to work with me so we'll find a way to make it work. So sometimes things take time. You've got to be patient but in the end is what counts and we're making it happen now. Day two, we've been grinding on the Challenger. Every single part I've gotten my hands dirty, I've been getting in there, making sure the car gets ready for paint by today. I think we accomplished that. The best part of all this is having DJ teach me and mentor me and show me the proper way to do things such as paint and body. I wasn't always happy with the way my last body kit turned out and that was due to my own fault. But now with DJ's help and these OEM parts, I wanted to make sure that this was the cleanest version of the Challenger that I put together yet. It was really hard deciding between the wrap and the paint, but deep down the side, I always knew that the Challenger is always going to be orange. Uh, it's my favorite color to begin with, and it was my dream car uh, to have a Hemi Orange Challenger SRT8. So to think of blowing the car apart and then wrapping it blue and then having to take the wrap off and blow the car apart again and to get it painted, I just thought, man, uh, I need to bite the bullet and just get this car painted the first time. It also feels really good knowing that I put in work in this paint job. Uh, I like getting deep down. I like getting involved with everything done to the car. Uh, so it feels good knowing that this paint job, the best paint job, I had a part in it. All right guys, so the Challenger should be finished painted by the end of this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the car up and finish the final assembly of the Challenger at my place. One, DJ has a lot of high dollar builds that he needs to finish. And two, I wanna go ahead and record the final assembly of the OEM wide body kit on the car to show you guys.
right guys, as you can see, I have been grinding. I've got the front bumper off and I've got the front fender with the micros flare off. This is all undercoat. I did that a long time ago. So basically you have some 10 mils that go in those two spots. You got one 10 mil that goes right there. And then you've got these Torx right here and you've got to take them all the way out. You just need to loosen them up. And then the last ones are up in here. So when you open the hood, it's that one, that one, and then that one. And those are all 10 mil as well. And just the fender slides right off. All right, so the back is on. Nice and flush. Now we can't put on the rocker until we put the front fenders on because they bolt here in the bottom. And I'll show you guys all that here in a second. But everything's good. Everything's nice and sturdy. I'm not gonna touch it because my hands are filthy because I just finished that front right there. Here's the Viker S front fenders and my stock uh, front fenders. So anyways, let me show you guys this. All right, so once you take the wheel off, the first thing you wanna do is push this clip down and remove this sensor. This is your wheel speed sensor. I need two hands. Uh, then you want to take all these little plastic push pins out to get the fender liner out. And then there's a little piece of foam right behind here. Remove that and then all the bolts uh, are exposed. And don't forget about these down here as well. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so this is what it looks like once you remove the fender liner. And then right back here, this piece of foam I was telling you all about. Grab it. That's all it is pulls right out just like that and now you can see it's dusty back here boy and now you can see the uh, torx heads like I was talking about so now all the bolts are exposed now we just gotta remove them Next day, went ahead and put the first wide body fender on. I'll give you guys some tips real quick, some things you wanna look out for when you're doing it, uh, when it comes to aligning it so your door doesn't catch and your hood. First thing you wanna do is remove this from your old fender and put it in the new one. And then you wanna put this uh, black uh, plastic clip in. So what I did was I put all the bolts uh, not even snug, just loose so I can still move the fender back and forth. So one, two, three. The bottom ones, you can see all the dirt where the old fender used to be. So I just aligned the new one and you have to hold it with your hand and then uh, put the screws in. Now, you don't want this part of the fender to protrude or stick out. So you wanna put those two bolts, that one, and that one up there, uh, snug. But when you start doing it, you have to push on the fender right here. So I had my hands right about here. And actually now that I'm touching it, it can go in just a hair. I can feel it right there. So you wanna push that in as you tighten that bolt right there. And then you wanna do it to the top. You wanna do the same thing, push up here. So this one's pretty good, this one's good. This bottom one can go in just a hair, just a tad more and then you want to tighten it. Uh, once this line is good right here on your door, then you want to go ahead and slightly pull back on the fender as you tighten this bolt, this one, and this one right there. The only one I tightened right off the rip was uh, this one right there. So you want to put this bolt in first before you put this black plastic clip in. So I put that one in off the rip and I tightened it for the most part all the way. And then I did these right here, one's on the bottom, and then slowly snugged everything up. So it takes a little patience, you're going back and forth. Now, since these came out of the box brand new and not from the factory, I still had to pull up on it right here to get the correct shape, because it was kind of in there a little more than I, would, I wanted it to be. But overall, not too difficult. 
just a little patience comes out looking good Hey guys what's going on it's brian from the future um i didn't film an ending to this video so i figured i'd give you guys a sneak peek of the car all done up um because i failed to make a proper outro uh so there's a sneak peek keep an eye out for the next couple of videos i'll show you guys how to for the most part do everything um just giving you guys a heads up some of the stuff is the same as the bike stuff so I didn't go too much into detail, but I do have videos showing all that stuff when I did do it the first time. So keep an eye out for that stuff. And thank you guys for watching. I gotta give a huge shout out to Wesley Motorsports, Derek at Color House of Texas for painting this car. Look how good it looks, it looks so good. Um, and you guys for watching the videos. Thank you so much. If you guys like these videos, leave a comment below, hit that like button. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Till next time guys, peace.